that is a grand field. Yeah, it's uh, just a big, brilliant field. God made the world and the licensed female RT. And someday, long after I'm gone, your son, 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 and his son will have a grand cushy job over there. Actually, <gasps> they're selling the field. What? Selling the field. That's right, Bull. By public auction. What'll happen? Other channels will make bids, media groups, Dennis O'Brien, who I have no issue with. Just who would insult me by bidding for my beautiful field here in Dublin 4? Sure, there may be outsiders, Bull. Sky, Channel 4. Outsiders? <sighs> outsiders. Are these the same outsiders that made Father Ted before us? Now, Bull. Are these the same outsiders that took away our Fort Greenfield, UTV, and Julian with it? Take it easy, Bull. Are these the same outsiders, Sassnocks, who stole our audience share and scattered some of our finest men to the four corners of England? Wogan, Baz, and Norton. Graham Norton, the last great player by the Western world. Are these the same Sassanooks who watched as RT2 fell silent and gave us repeat after repeat of the fear? I'll put the fear into them! Someone's still watching RT2. Television is gone, Bald. It's all YouTube, Netflix, everything's online. That gobshite on Facebook taking off the girlfriend. Can you not find another field? Another field? Clearly you're as far around here as any egg. The lyrics board was made and remade in 26 countries worldwide. Huh? Yeah. I built RT out of that field. It was I felled the tree that Boschko came out of. And I cleared the ditch to make a halting site for Wanderley Wagon. And with my bare hands, I put the stones out of that field so that fair city could have a spare shop. Spare shop. A spare shop. Spare shop. And I stood alone in that field and watched as we lured. One time capsule after another for Zig and Zag. Sure, he buried a few thousand copies of Rattling Home up there to make sure you two will get to number one. I know you two. Really? You know Bonner? I do, I I remember back in 1990, we were working on the telethon right through the night. And B.B. Bashkin fell over, keeled over. Gay Burn knelt down beside her and he said, Quick, get an ambulance. I will, says I. But she'll read the news first. She'll read the news first. None of that happened. And if you think I'm going to face that feisty Ann Doyle over in the canteen without the field, <laughs> you have something else coming to you. You tell him! You tell him! <laughs> no foreign channel will buy my field. Well said, well said. You're the bull, you're the bull. <laughs> the license fee will go up by 50 euro, there'll be loads more ads, and we'll all get on nice and happy here in RTE. Drinks for everyone in the house. <laughs> So, who do you think bought the field? Someone who's got a grudge against RT and enjoys getting other people's fields. Hello? It looks like the last laugh is laughed by me. <laughs> Kenny! <laughs> <laughs>